The first thing that we do when everybody arrives is we have a welcome party. And I wanted it to be in the gallery. No one can see the studio just yet. To build kind of the anticipation and the excitement. To be in the art, the gallery and see all the artwork hanging on the walls and to see like, this is my teacher. Because Alexa, Todd and Dan's work, they're all down there as well. So people who are repeats, I, I like to watch everybody when they're in the, in the gallery. I can tell the ones that have been here before because they're like up close to the canvas and they're like studying it. You know, they're looking at the highlights and the different colors that are blended together. So that was the purpose, was literally to kind of break the ice, get everybody even more excited than they already were because they're in the building but they can't go upstairs and then talk about you know questions and just things that they're looking forward to. I'm most excited about learning what I'm going to paint. So I've done some Pinot's palettes. They were pretty simple, so I'm excited to find out what we're gonna paint and what the final product will look like. I've always had an interest in art. I'm kind of a hopeless romantic when it comes to art, I guess, and so I want to try to hone my skills a little bit and I figure what better person I'll learn from than one of the masters. For me, uh, practicing more techniques and getting better at a few aspects of painting and again, you know, just getting a lot of uh, ideas for creativity, just keeping the creativity going, that would be my purpose. I would love to paint, I just, you know, I work too many hours when I'm at home. So uh, although I come home and I see him painting, I don't have the time or, you know, luxury to do it. Now that you're away from work, this is the time to take the opportunity and do something. So that's, I hope to go back and continue that, you know, f find a way to make time for these things that are so important. The artwork is phenomenal. I, I am a professional painter, but you can always learn more, and I want to learn more, and I want to learn the details and the techniques of how they're getting their paintings to look like they do, and that's what I want to learn. Olivia had the idea to start the retreat after my dad's first motorcycle accident. Well, I guess that's his only, his first shoulder surgery uh, because he was scared that he wouldn't be able to paint again. And she said, what if you brought people in and we did a class, a weekend class, teaching them and showing them all your tricks, how to paint, we did a high-end sip and paint weekend and she created it and it's turned out awesome. This year was as good as any year prior. I'm always amazed by the way that the, the students come in with such a great attitude. They act like a bunch of big sponges and they want to learn everything. So we spend our time and show them all the little tricks that we've done over the years. I've never done anything like this before. And um, unfortunately one of the things is that I have cancer and so I needed something to look forward to to be quite honest, some new adventure, new endeavor, and so that's why I really decided to go ahead and do it. Many years ago, um, we started uh, doing art collecting and uh, going on the uh, celebrity cruises, and so uh, we're very excited when we met Scott. This is my fourth time to be here. Um, Scott Jacobs and I, we met on several cruises, uh, the High Sea Rally Cruise, um, which uh, kidney dialysis brought the patients on board with kidney dialysis and so we met there and after he was injured Olivia reached out and told us about a retreat an ideal to bring her dad spirit up and so we joined my mom um, decided to go back to school and she got an art degree and so we had art she did more of a carving she took old tombstones and actually um, made statues out of old tombstones and so we've always had a lot of art around and my mom dragged us to a lot of museums, a lot of museums. <laughs> I love 
love most about the artist retreat is the fact that we get to give back in an artistic way. So it's just, you know, my dad has so much knowledge in the art world. It's cool to be able to pass it on to other people and to then with that create this community that's just so tight knit. Like I know for a fact that a lot of the students still talk to each other. They have visited each other. That's what's cool. They're like, oh yeah, we went on vacation together. So it's really rewarding for me to see that this course that we created has created, you know, a cool little family. Um, I'd love them to feel more confident in creating, lose some fear or the aspect of feeling failure if they don't create something beautiful. That's, I think, in all of us artists, we get nervous that what we're painting, people won't like, but you gotta just push that aside and create from your heart and just go for it. The experience that I want the artists to have, I want them to be inspired. Because I know these people that are coming in here, whether they're collectors of mine and just want to see how I do it, or maybe they're closet artists at home, I want them to, to leave the retreat inspired, inspired with uh, all the new knowledge they have to go home and try it on their own, uh, you know, to take their art to the next level. And I think it's worked with every student we've had so far, because a lot of them have kept in touch with us. They have given us a lot of different photographs that they've done of pieces at home. So they're keeping the ball moving. And you can see that it's working because almost everybody keeps coming back every year. So that's a, that's a good sign.